This is going to be another addition for us of Combat Corner. This is the worst week that the UFC has had in a long time. I mean, if now I, I do think that they've made adjustments to the you know UFC 303 uh, next week that could be exciting. Is are exciting in some ways, but also disappointing for some for many people. First, first thing, UFC 303, Conor McGregor is off the card. Michael Chandler is off the card. It's been replaced. It's on June 29th. Today is June 13th. It's been replaced because Connor is hurt with Alex, Alex Pardeda, Hoatan, versus Hiri Pro, Prohachka. Two. They fought last year. I think it was last year. Well, Connor hurt his liver from drinking all that damn liver. Probably. He probably broke his leg again. Who the hell knows? I, I don't know. He probably bur- broke his, his, his titanium rod in his leg. Um, but yeah, his liver, he's been partying up a whole lot. Uh, but Poetan and, and Yuri fought last, you know, fought and Poetan beat Yuri to win the belt. This fight was going to happen. But there's not a person on earth that would want to see this fight happen on 16 days notice. These guys have not trained. They're not in shape. This fight is rather, o- overall, completely meaningless, in my opinion. Yes, there will be a winner, and yes, there will be a loser, more than likely, unless it's a draw, which probably won't happen. But regardless of who wins and who loses, they're going to fight again. It's going to be the it, – it would be, it would be insane to me that Yuri Prohachka would be penalized if he loses on a fight that he got with 16 days notice. Really, realistically, 10 because – they leave for Vegas like the week the week of. They spend half the week in freaking press conferences. They might train for the training is not training training, you know. It's gonna be workouts to, to work on cardio and and cut weight, really cut weight. So I just um this fight could have been booked after UFC three hundred because both of them were on that card. If they wanted that fight for June twenty ninth. They could have booked that freaking fight that week and made that fight happen. And they didn't. And now they're doing it as and this is the second card now that Alex Pereira is trying to save. I'm gonna guess the UFC's paying him a fortune to do it because he doesn't have to. <clears throat> and yeah, it, it 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 just it's a great fight. But they're gonna fight again no matter who wins. In my opinion, it would be crazy if they didn't because how can you penalize either guy for saving your ass? Secondly, the Jamal Hill fight is off. Jamal Hill was initially supposed to fight Khalil Roundtree. Khalil Roundtree tested positive for <clears throat> some PED. So he got replaced by Carlos Olberg, who fought like a few weeks ago, but, but one in 15 seconds, so he didn't have a scratch. So Olberg stepped in to fight Hill. Hill has done a hell of a lot of shit talking about Pereira. For the last three weeks, just nonstop shit talking. Now Hill is injured, conveniently. So Anthony Smith is going to fight Carlos Ulberg. That's actually a fight that I find I have I have interest in. I actually do. I, I like Anthony Smith. Um, I think this is a good fight for Ulberg to really see how, how he does against Smith. If Smith wins, he's getting himself close, trying to put himself back in that conversation. Um, but they've also now added. Uh, Brian Ortega and Diego Lopez. That's what I just read. Yeah, the co-main event now is Diego Lopez versus Brian Ortega. Again, I love the actual fight itself. I hate the notice. Brian Ortega has a tendency to get tired. I presume it's a three-round fight. I hope it's a three-round fight because if it's a five-round fight, he'll probably gas out. But I love the way Ortega fights. Diego, Diego Lopez is a savage. You know, he fought, he fought on 300 also. He won in the prelim fight. So, so it's a really fun fight. I do think that they probably improve the card with these fights. But again, they're all last-minute fights with guys who are not going to be in optimal shape and not prepared. They're not going to be optimally prepared. So it's good and it's bad. 
But man, UFC 303 uh, International Fight Week's turned into an absolute. It turned into a clusterfuck. I give them credit though for what they were able to put together, because I'm sure it cost them a pretty penny to do it. Because these guys are guys don't take fight like to take fights like this that are meaningful on 16 days. It's it's, it's too it's dangerous for them. They me. Yeah, it's dangerous. Now that happened. Same time, Kamzat Chimaev, who was supposed to fight on the 22nd next Saturday against uh, Robert Whitaker in Saudi Arabia on an ABC televised card, he fell off the card. You're like, oh my God. Now, Kamzat Chimaev has a history of falling off of cards due to various reasons. Either he's been sick, he's gotten sick, had fights canceled. He he uh, missed. He was really so overweight against Nate Diaz, and then they ended up switching him to fight Kevin Holland, and he massacred Holland. But no one wanted to see him fight Holland. They wanted to see him fight Nate Diaz, and see, most of us just wanted to see him actually finish Diaz off and retire his ass because <laughs> we didn't get a chance in hell. But now this was a humongous fight against Robert Whitaker. This was probably the fight that I was more excited about this summer than any fight. And now it's not going to happen. There's a replacement already for for this fight. It's just disappointing because I thought that was going to be a really good fight. And it was going to be, okay, it's, um, what the hell's This guy's name is Ikram Aliskerov. He's 15-1. and one. Now, he's a good fighter. He's a real good fighter. His only loss was to Kamzat Shemaev on a regional card. Um, but no one knows who this guy is. This fight does not put Robert Whitaker any closer to a title shot at all. So... It's been a rough week for the UFC for the UFC <laughs> to have these types of fights fall off. I wish that they would just retire Conor McGregor at this point. And I don't want to hear this shit anymore. He, he's he, it's it's the same old crap when when he's involved. I feel bad for Michael Chandler, but then I also don't because Mike Chandler should have been fighting other people. And and when it came down to fight McGregor, then he can still fight him, but he should have been fighting other guys. I don't know how he's paying for his life because it's been damn near two years since he's fought. None of my business, but it definitely isn't going to hurt his, page, his his pockets more and whatever. But disappointing week for the UFC. I'm sure Dana White's been suffering some agita this week because of this situation. Even in the, the press con- the, the announcement, he looked like kind of like, ugh. <laughs> Next week you have that uh, Whitaker fight, and the weekend after you have uh, UFC 303. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.